we studied that in the early 1990s uh, to see if there was other, anything happening. And I think we've been going through discoveries and discoveries each time uh, going, wow. Uh, so in Greenland, we see all the outlet glaciers changing a lot. Uh, the interior is not changing, contrary to what models predicted, with an increase in uh, snowfall. We haven't seen any of that. Um, the glacier changes around Greenland are, are over the whole island, uh, not just in the southeast or central west, even in the north. Um, we get to report results this week of uh, the collapse of uh, an ice shelf and the formation of a new tidewater glacier in northeast Greenland, way up there at 79 north, um, which uh, no, most of us did not think we would see that happening uh, uh, maybe in our lifetime. And in the Antarctic, uh, Antarctic is a big place. Um, we've learned that it's very important to look at every part of a big place. Don't think that because you know one little place, you know about Antarctica. Antarctica is a very big uh, area. Uh, so there's uh, <clears throat> the Antarctic Peninsula and the Pine Island Bay sector, which are changing very rapidly. Uh, we have very good observations for that. Um, and I think we've developed a good understanding of why it's happening and how. So there's a lot of, lot of changes, very interesting stuff for scientists because these changes are happening fast. Uh, not over centuries, over decades. Right?